Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me the new M2 iPad Air and the new Apple Pencil Pro. And in this video I am going to show you how to use this iPad for note taking with 17 tips and tricks. So let's start. So the app that I am going to use in this video is Good Notes. The first tip is about drag and drop image. For example, I open my internet browser in split screen and here you can see I search some images on Google. For example, I like this image and now I want this image in my notes. I will use my Apple Pencil Pro and then I will press and hold it like this and then I can easily drag and drop this image to my notes and later if you want you can also edit it. Same way you can also bring any text for example I open this website and now I want this text in my notes so what I will do is first of all I will start selecting this text using my Apple pencil pro so I will select it till here and then again I will press and hold it like this and I can also drag and drop this text to my notes the next thing is you can also edit this text inside your notes for example you want to write something over here you can use this keyboard tool and then you can also write the next tip is about bringing whole web page to your notes. For example, I open this website and now I want this full website to my notes. So first of all, I will select this reader button and then from here I will select show reader. So it will open the simplified version of the same website. Now I will use my Apple Pencil Pro and then I will swipe from this corner. So I will swipe it like this. It will take the screenshot for for this web page now from top you can select this full page option and then it will take the screenshot for full page now what you can do is select this share icon and then here you see we have this option of open in good notes so I will select it and then it will ask you if you want to import it so I will select it import as new document and then you can see the same website is now available in my notes you can zoom it like this and then later you can use all these tools for example if you want to write something you can write over here if you want to highlight the text you can also do the highlighting you can also use this shape tool and you can also do other annotations the next tip is about audio recording. For example, you have a lecture going on and you want to record that lecture and you want to take notes in the meantime. So select this mic icon and then it will start recording and you can take your notes in the meantime. Once you finish with your recording, you can select this stop option and then you can play it from here. So whatever you record, it will show you what you wrote in real real time alongside the audio. You can also use the M2 iPad Air for scanning of documents. For example, I want to scan this document so I will turn on the camera and then I will place my iPad on top of this document like this and then here you can see I have this option of scan document. So I will select it and then it will automatically position itself and then it will scan the document for you. So here is the final result. Now you can use this document inside your notes. The next tip is about extract text from an image and bring it to your notes. For example, I open my photos in a split screen and here you can see I have this image with text and now I want to extract this text. So I will use my Apple Pencil Pro. First of all, I will start selecting this text. Then I will use this select all option. And now again, I will use my Apple Pencil Pro. I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop this text to my notes and later if you want you can also edit this text. The next tip is about screen recording. So if you want to prepare your lectures or you want to do the screen recording of your note taking, just bring down this control center and then from here select this screen recorder. So after this countdown, your screen recording will start. Now on your note taking app, you can use all these tools. For example, you can use this shape tool and you can use different tools on your screen. Once you finish with your screen recording, just select this stop icon and then from here select stop and then later you can access your screen recording from your photos so you can edit it and you can share it. 
so how to access this screen recorder tool so first of all go to your settings and here you can see we have this option of control center so you have to select it once you go inside control center you have to scroll down and here you can see we have this option of screen recording then you have to select this plus icon and then it will be added to your control center so here you can see screen recording is now added now if you want to access it just bring down your control center and and your screen recorder is available over here. The next tip is about access notes from lock screen. For example, your iPad is locked and you are in a hurry and you want to write something important. So just use your Apple Pencil Pro and then tap on the screen one time like this. It will open the Apple notes and here you can write anything important. Whatever you write, it will automatically save in your Apple notes and later you can access it. The next tip is about adding text to notes. For example, you are scrolling through a website and you find some interesting information and you want to save it. So first of all, use your Apple Pencil Pro and then start selecting the text. For example, I will select this text till here. Now you can see we have this option of new quick note. So you have to select this option. So the same text will be added to your Apple notes. Now how to access it? You can see we have this arrow over over here you can select this arrow and you can see over here the same text is now available over here in my apple notes and i can also edit it the next thing is for example if i close this website and now i will open my apple notes and you can see i also have the link for the same website so if i select this link it will open the same website with the same highlighted text the next tip is about picture in picture option. For example, you are watching a video on YouTube and you want to take notes in the meantime. So just swipe it up like this. It will open the same video in this format and then you can open your note taking app and then you can start taking your notes and you can also watch this video. You can also change the position of this video on your screen and then you can also use other tools as well. The next tip is about converting handwritten math notes into equations. For example, I will write this equation and then I will show you how you can convert it into the neat equation. Now I will use this selection tool and then I will select this equation. Okay. And then I will tap on it and then I will select this arrow and then I select convert and then I will select math. So you can see the same equation is now converted into the neat equation now you can use it and you can also edit it the next thing is you can also use AI math assistance. For example, I will write a wrong calculation over here. So you can see we have this red color underline. So you can just tap it like this and then it will show you something doesn't look right. Please check your work below. So if you want to delete it, you can just directly delete it from here and then you can try again. The next tip is about handwriting spelling correction. For example, I will write a word over here with wrong spelling. So you can see we have this red color underline. So if you just tap it like this, it will give you a suggestion. So you can use any of these correct spelling. I want to write maximum over here. So here is the maximum option. So I will select it like this and then it will write it for you with the correct spelling. You can also create your own study set. Just select this plus option and then here you can see you have this option of study set. I already create my own study set and then I will show you. So I will select this study option and then I will select practice. So here you can see this is how you can create a question. So if you tap it like this, it will show you the answer. You can also go for next and then here you have another question and then once you tap, it will show you the answer. So this is how you can create your own study sets and you can practice them as well. The next tip is about categorization. So you can categorize your notes into folders and subfolders. For example, here I create this folder according to my semester and inside this folder, I create another subfolder according to my subject. And inside this subfolder, I create my notes. So if you want to create a folder, select this plus icon. And then from here, you can see we have this option of folder. So you can select it and then you can give it any name and then you can select any color and then press done from here. So this is how you can create folders. 
The next step is about quick notes. For example, you are in a hurry and you want to write something important. So just swipe from this right corner. It will open the Apple notes and here you can write anything important. The next thing is you can also use other tools and you can also bring data from Apple notes to another note taking app. For example, I will open good notes app and then I will open my Apple notes. Now I want to bring this handwriting to Apple notes. So first of all, I will use this selection tool and then I will select my handwriting like this and then I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop this handwriting to my good notes and later if you want you can also edit it. You can also use a freeform app. It's a flexible whiteboard and here you can brainstorm your ideas. You can also insert videos. For example, I will select this video option and then from here you can insert any video in your infinite canvas. So here you can see you can play it as well. Same way you can also add photos. For example, I want to add this photo and then I will select this add option and you can see the photo is also added. And then if you want, you can also add Add other files for example if you want to add a PDF file you can also do it you can also collaborate with other people in real time just select this share icon and then from here you can create a link and then you can share it with your friends or with your colleagues the next step is about taking screenshot and do the annotations. For example, you are reading a book and you find some interesting information and you want to share that information. So use your Apple Pencil Pro and then swipe from left corner. It will take the screenshot. The next thing is you can bring your Apple Pencil Pro closer to the screen and then just squeeze it like this. It will open this tool palette and then from here you can select any tool. For example, if you want to write, you can select this pen tool and then you can write on your page and now for example if I want to highlight something again I will squeeze it like this it will open this tool palette I will select this highlighter and then I can highlight my text once you finish with your annotations you can select this share icon and then you can share it using different platforms so this is for today's video please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much